Hello everyone, so I am back with another airflow box test. This will be my second test on my brand new suction and airflow test. And as you can probably see, this is my Kirby Avalier 2. This is the newest Kirby in my collection as well as currently the newest Kirby. This is uh, February 2021. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do some airflow box tests as well as a brush roll RPM test. Um, and then also a suction test, since I can perform suction tests, uh, nozzle suction tests, I should say, on this airflow box now. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, as you saw in my last video, I have the hold peak all calibrated with the conversion factor of 0.028. And let's go ahead and see what we can get starting off with a bag in and the brush roll spinning. So this is the what I would say is the most important measurement for carpet cleaning, certainly. So here we go. So you can see a pretty impressive result of 161 CFM. You can see on the hold peak there. Let me just zoom in there for you. 161 CFM. And as you saw, we're at around 121.1 volts or so under load, which is pretty normal. So next, we're going to go ahead and turn the brush roll off, see what kind of numbers we can pull. Obviously, they will go up, but let's see how much. Just turn the belt lifter here. And away we go. Um, I did fiddle a lot with the green Kirby HEPA bag that's currently in there just to make sure it was totally optimized for the best airflow possible. But 162.7 CFM, so a little bit of an increase, but we're up to 100, almost 163 without the brush roll spinning. So next, we're going to go ahead and remove the inner bag, so we'll have no bag at all, and run the brush roll on and off tests again. Okay, so the bag is removed and the brush roll is turned back on. So let's go ahead and do bag out, brush roll on. <laughs>
right, so with the bag out, we're at 161.1. You did see it start to go up there as the machine warmed up again. Um, but that's just a 0.1 CFM increase compared to with the bag in. So that really tells me that I had that bag in there as efficiently as it could be. I fiddled with it a lot and did multiple tests trying to get the highest result possible. So a 0.1 CFM gain compared to brush roll on and bag in uh, with the bag out. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get the highest measurement here, but we're gonna turn off the brush roll. and see what we can get. Here we go. So almost 165 CFM from this Avalier to obviously no drag on the motor from the brush roll and no inner bag in, but almost 165 CFM is a very impressive number. I'm not aware of any technical changes um, that Kirby actually said that they made compared to the Avalier 1. This is relatively more than what the Avalier 1 got, around 150 up to 160 or so. So. Let's go ahead and do a suction test next, and then a brush roll speed test. All right, so we're all set up for our suction test. Let's go ahead and see what the Kirby can pull. Of course, this is a direct air machine, so it's not gonna be fantastic numbers, but let's see. <laughs> have to check the footage there but I'm pretty sure I saw a 32 uh, but I'll put the uh, actual measurement once I can review the footage uh, on the screen there so 32 maybe 31 or 32 inches of water lift so a decent performance from this Kirby um, but of course we have one test left let's see what this can get with the tachometer for brush roll speed okay so we've got the Avalier 2 sitting on its front and as you can see, we've got our piece of reflective tape there, ready to be read by the tachometer. So let's see what measurement we can pull. about 4,070 RPM, which is definitely less than I was expecting. I know I've seen Avalier 1s get in the 4,200 range, so the fact that this is, you know, 100 plus RPM short of an Avalier 1 is an interesting idea, especially since the CFM is so much higher, so maybe makes you wonder if the motor efficiency is increased, but I'm not sure. So now let's go ahead and take a look at an overview of the results of the test we just took for the Avalier 2. So looking at the uh, overview of the Avalier 2's measurements here, you can start to see some interesting things. And the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the airflow measurements. You can see all of them are 
at or above 161 CFM, which is very impressive. The highest Kirby Avalier one that I've seen on YouTube is 151, and so the fact that Bag In and Brush Roulon, the Avalier 2, seems to be getting 161 in the same setup um, is a pretty significant jump. Obviously, 10 CFM relative to 150 CFM is not a lot, but still, um, that's there's clearly been an improvement made. Um, but the counter to that is the brush roll speed. You can see there, 4,070 RPM about that. Um, I'm not sure if I need to let my Kirby warm up more, um, but that's, you know, one, like um, you know about 150 CFM short of what I've seen some other Avalier 1s getting in terms of brush roll speed. So that's interesting to me. I wonder why the Avalier 2, especially since its CFM has improved, um, why its brush roll speed seems to have dropped. Nozzle suction at 31 inches of lift, that's very similar um, to what the Avalier 1 gets. And also in CFM density, it has the same nozzle size as the Avalier 1, so the uh, CFM density is a little bit higher, but not that significant, because like I said, about a 10 CFM gain across the board here. And, um, as always with Kirby's, the watts per CFM there, and you can see I finally have the wattage measurement because I got the current meter. Um, the, the watts per CFM, it's a very efficient, very environmentally friendly machine, as all direct air machines are. It doesn't take a lot of watts to produce the CFM that it does. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any suggestions as to why my brush roll RPM measurements might be low, um, definitely leave those down below. But as always, I thank you guys very much for watching, and be sure to subscribe so you're alerted when I post a new video. See you in the next one.